Welcome back to Great Day Live. This morning we have been learning all about Clarksville Community Schools and what you can see tonight at their showcase of schools. Elle Bottom has been live with them all morning, giving us a preview of this really fun Oscar style themed open house. Good morning, Elle. Good morning, Claudia. I should have got the dress memo because I am with the best dress. The Oscar Awards goes to Thank Nikki you. Billington, Thank the middle you. school principal. Good morning. Good morning. It is so fun to kind of learn about everything that Clarksville schools have to offer. And of course, the middle school, there's a lot of up and coming things happening at your school. There are a lot of great things happening. We did want to clarify one thing. We know you said the fun school was the kicking off the elementary. <laughs> you hadn't met the middle school yet. So here we are to tell you all about the great things at Clarksville Middle School that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, we have recently recently uh, implemented a new maker space in our yeah. building where we're colleagues have had that across the corporation and you can kind of see around our campus it's great but mm -hmm. the middle school's next so that's uh, kind of a little tease little peek come in and check us out once we get that all taken care of yes that is so much fun and you have a silent auction tonight and we have these amazing chairs that your seventh graders painted we do uh, we had art students um, kind of collected people gifted us chairs and they created uh, just different themes this is our breakfast theme <laughs> so we have some eggs and toast and cereal and we have a donut chair and so that'll be open for silent auction and bidding will start at $25 and there's a lot to choose from a lot of different designs I'm very proud of our students for yes, doing that and you chose not to show the one that you are going to that bid on correct. because no one needs to bid that on that correct. one <laughs> I kept that at school so no one could see how great it was and then because uh, Dr. B has her eye on it yes and so you also have some other stations around as well so tell me about what the special eds doing um, we do, and um, this is close to my heart. I have a child with special needs, and so I'm very proud of my special ed department. Um, they wanted to showcase actors and actresses who have special needs, yeah. and that how the sky is the limit. Like, you can do whatever you want, you can be whoever you want, regardless of, of you know, what talents you have been gifted. Yeah. Um, and so they're doing Hollywood Squares. And so you'll come in, it'll be, uh, you know, different families, battles, families, and trivia, and we're gonna showcase actresses and actresses who have disabilities. Yes, and there's so many other themes that kind of go along with it. And we have our science teacher here, Karen Song, and her uh, student here. You're gonna be making some glitter lava lamps. So kind of show me how it's done here. So this is water, right? So first I'm gonna pour 200 of it in there, and then, oh. And this is such a fun little project that you guys do in class. So what kind of gave you the idea to do this? Well, because we're doing glitz and glamour, what better than <laughs> lava lamps with <laughs> glitter in them? And, and then, it's easy enough for all of the students to do. Yes. And so what is this that you're pouring in? Uh, oil. Oil. And so it can be any kind of oil. Okay. Because this is like, you could even do this at home, you really. Could definitely do this at home. And so oil and water don't mix. I see like that's yeah. where the, the bubbling right. is going to come through. That's right. And oil then, is always lighter than that. And then we dump in the uh, glow stick so we get some glow in there. Look at those colors. And you have a couple different color options. Yeah, yeah we have quite a few different colors. We have four colors of that and I think 11 colors of glitter. Ooh. So I brought blue today to go with the pink. This is so much fun. We got the blue in there. And then you're going to see the magic happen when she dumps in the uh, salt. Ooh, okay. Okay, you can see the blue in there. Good job, Micaiah. And they, she is also helping me tonight. I have uh, four eighth grade students that always run my labs. All right, get a close up on this. There's the magic. See it coming up, it bubbles up. The glitter will bubble with it. Uh, hold yeah, on. keep going. Yeah, let's hold, let's get some of the glitter up. And, <laughs> uh, let's get some of this. So this is so much fun. So you're making it in a beaker, but what will the students actually be the making students, them because in? Because they will actually take it home. They will be doing it in a water bottle. We've been collecting and recycling all the water bottles for the last month. Oh my goodness. So yeah, the kids will have fun. They can take it home and add all that they want to it. Has a lid on it. We don't have to worry about it. There you go. It won't spill in the car because that would just be a nightmare, no, wouldn't it we be? Would not, <laughs> we would not let it spill in the car. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. You're out actually getting ready to retire yes, this am. year. I so am. how long have you actually been teaching at I've Clarksville? Been, at Clarksville I've been eight years, but I've been a school teacher for 24. Wow. And I'm excited. But I am coming back and volunteering. If you look behind us, you can see the innovation lab that we have, mm -hmm. the makerspace. And I I will be in charge of that two days a week. So we'll have the fifth and sixth graders come in, seventh and eighth graders come in. Yeah. We have 3D printers, we have all kinds of stuff, and that is my jam. I yes. love doing it. So, so you can't just time. leave that. I can't leave. I can't leave. <laughs> Nobody's in charge of it yet, so I will be in charge of it for one year until everybody gets settled. Well, there you go. And you can check it out tonight at the Clarksville Showcase of Schools. It's happening tonight from 6 to 7 30. So coming up next, we're wrapping things up here with the high school, and we're going to preview their spring play. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned.